Hi, this is Freya with another singing tip and today I want to talk about the different colors of head voice. A lot of times the head voice is associated with singing classically, but even in pop repertoire you will need head voice quite a lot. Whitney Houston does it a lot and it also leads you into whistle register. So there is definitely a lot of you know, opportunity to need head voice. However, whether you want to sing classical or not depends on like how you want to use your head voice. It determines that. So first of all, let's talk about classical. If you have ever been classically trained and you are a, f a woman, for guys, you have not really been trained probably in head voice if you have taken classical training just because when guys sing classically, they don't usually sing in head voice, but whenever a soprano sings classically, they are trained basically all the way in head voice because that's what wanted. Now let me explain to you why that is. The reason why in classical music a woman needs to sing in head voice is because you have to go, first of all, you have to go all the way to the high frequencies. And second of all, when you sing in opera, it is very important to cut through to be heard over the orchestra. That's why you need those certain frequencies. And that's why when you sing in head voice, you want to make tons of space and really have this very big open sound. So when you sing classical, you want to go more like, kind of like that. But whenever you're singing in pop repertoire, you don't want to sound like that. So even if you can't quite belt it out on the top and you have to switch into head voice, you don't want to go like that's too much space. So whenever you want to do some ad-libs, even in head voice, you want to just kind of make it fit the style accordingly. Even in jazz, you can have a different position. You can go more like very relaxed position back here in your larynx and then go more like It's not very open. It's not oh, oh, very relaxed. It's more like hello, 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 and not hello, hello. So what you also want to do is not pull it down so much. Whenever you sing pop, you will usually only start to get into head voice when it gets pretty high. In classical music, you pull your head voice much further down because you want to sing basically all the time in head voice if you are a woman. Oh, I'm steely singing in head voice just because I need to project over the orchestra. So you want to have this full sound all the way to the middle and the bottom. But whenever you sing pop, you don't want to sound like this in the middle, but you want to sound more like this. It's a more natural sound. So you get into a chest voice. And then you only want to get into head voice when you go higher, but it has a different positioning, a different spacing than in classical. So what you want to do whenever you sing popular, you want to be a lot more relaxed. So instead of going, you want to go more like this, very relaxed. That way the break is also not that obvious. You go chest voice, chest voice, chest voice, chest voice, head voice, head voice, head voice, head voice. So the break isn't that obvious just because you are staying a lot more relaxed here and don't have this huge space. Now what is important is that you make space exactly at the right spot. No, that is hard to explain. There's the larynx, there's a the soft palate, there's the pharynx and all that. What you want to do is way back there in the throat, where kind of the larynx, you don't want to push it down whenever you sing popular. You don't want to sound way open. And that's really important. That's why I see a lot of problems with female singers, especially that the problems start when you take the head voice down too much and then you're stuck in this space like, so I'm still in head voice. Now how do I transition? I'm pretty low in head voice. Now I gotta make this break. It's a pretty rough break, but if I can make the head voice a little bit more narrow instead of so more narrow, this is C, head voice, chest voice, head voice, chest voice. It doesn't sound so different and the break isn't that obvious just because both sound very similar. 
Instead of this, head voice, chest voice, head voice, chest voice. Sounds so different. You don't want to sound like somebody different all of a sudden. Now for the guys, usually the problem is totally a different one. Usually the problems for the guys come whenever you try to sing higher and you want to get into head voice just because it is way high and you need that register. Otherwise you're just going to crack up and there's no, I mean, there is a physical limit to how far you can actually take chest voice. You want to definitely, even as a guy, you want to get into head voice. What happens a lot of times is that you get too narrow because you're not used to singing in that high head voice. So what you want to try to do is make more space. So kind of try to think of more of a yawning motion, kind of like, Ooh, Ooh, and practice that a little bit to counterbalance that to where you are usually too narrow when you go up there in, in head voice. All right, I hope I could help you with head voice because it is important and I'm always gonna say it, all your registers need to be worked. It's like being an athlete, you don't only wanna do weightlifting, but you also don't wanna do only stretching, you wanna do both. It's very important to work the whole range, to work all the registers and all the facets of your voice. If you have not already, you can download my free download, the audio program. It's a 30 minute program just about, it's the vocal warm up checklist audio program. There's a checklist that goes with it. So once you know the exercises, you may not need the audio program anymore. You can just kind of go through the list and know the exercises. But there's also that audio program that you can download. It's an MP3, you can download it for free. Go to my website, fryasingingtips.com and just go to the download section and you will see it there. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.